Mr. Chalemis is a Director General for Energy at the Ministry of Energy. Mr. Chalemis, you heard uh, the the topic of this session, uh, curtailments, priorities. Do you think that right now there is a need to change the uh, support scheme of renewables? And if yes, uh, to what respect? I would like to thank you for having me here today. Thank you for the question. The issue of uh, the cats and uh, the issue of res support are two uh, distinct, uh, distinct, distinct issues. The res support scheme has been established, has been put in place, and uh, some res uh, projects have uh, have been assigned prices out of this mechanism. Um, if uh, short-term need arises. We need to look at that. The administration of the ministry has put in place a team that would consider how uh, support can be provided in a coordinated manner and, of course, with uh, a view to stabilizing the grid system and not just uh, save one or two hours of production to uh, a certain producer. The planning, the planning that is part of the National Climate Action Plan, a revision of which will be tabled tomorrow to the European Commission, is a precondition. Um, if demand, if electricity demand is not at the expected level, through the so-called uh, electrification scheme, electrification scheme uh, containing other sectors of the country, e-mobility that is also heating and cooling uh, using heat pumps as well as the industry involvement addressed by Mr. Contoleontas. This is a large sector of interest as well, industry, although let me put it this way, the uh, electrification needs of the large industry is not that high compared to uh, mid and northern Europe. Well, if this uh, goes as planned, there won't be any major issues. At some, uh, on some days that my well, load is uh, at a low, for example, on the eastern the Easter days, uh, that generation is not possible if uh, there is no wind uh, or sun, then they cannot produce. A new support scheme from now on should reconsider, should consider the true figures of the market. The minister addressed that the state aid scheme should be reconsidered having the new economic figures in mind. Towards what direction, if I may ask? Well, the direction has been given by the European regulation. Allow me to, allow me the following comment in terms of semiotics. The feed-in tariffs uh, scheme was originating from the RES um, Regula directive. The CDFs come from the and the PPAs come from the regulation now. It's not the part of the European Commission involved in uh, renewable energy sources, but rather the part of the Commission involved in uh, the energy uh, functioning. The special res account has helped and CFDs turn out to be promoted by the European Commission as well as a vehicle for promoting renewables. And this is very, uh, this is the right way to go. The European Commission used uh, to say that some renewable investments should be put in place and the rest would be managed by the economy itself. Up to three megawatt would be, up to three gigawatt would be, would be supported 
through rest in a market that is volatile. Investments cannot be affected if the investors believe that in 2029 prices in the market will be different, uh, let alone uh, bank bankability for Greece, etc. All uh, the more now that the windfall profits uh, have uh, taken a specific place in the market and the countries have uh, uh, introduced restrictions, um, the earnings have been uh, passed on to the consumers. The regulation on the energy market has not been adopted yet. It says that uh, benefits uh, from renewables through CFTs should be uh, shared among the consumers, uh, industry, vulnerables, etc. The Minister has also uh, pinpointed to, to that direction as a strategic direction. Thank